Amanda, we're ready for you. Hi, I'm Tanner. Hi, Nice Amanda. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Talked on the phone. Yes. So, how are you liking Portland? I understand you're from Texas. How yes, I am. Um, I love it here. It was a big change for me, but um, mm -hmm. I love the weather here. I think that was one of the big parts because it's a little too hot for me in Texas. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm really liking the change. So that's good. Do yeah. we have the fine enough facilities outside? Uh, yes. It was very easy. Very easy. To, uh, very easy transition for me. Okay. So, yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you a little bit about our organization, <clears throat> Portland Woodchucks. Um, this is going to be our, our third year in the NFL, as you know. Um, our inaugural season, we kind of struggled out of the gates. Um, but in our second season, we ended up making the playoffs. And more specifically, though, I want to focus on what we value as an organization. So it wasn't necessarily our performance based on those two years. It was our fan base and our community. And that's what we really want to strive for as an organization. Just giving back to the fans, um, making sure it's easy for them, setting good examples. And so that's just what we kind of value here. So let's get into it. Okay. Um, so how has your education and experiences prepared you for this position here at the Portland Woodchucks? Um, I can tell you from my experience, just you actually starting off talking about how your community is very important. And um, I can tell you that I've had a lot of experience in that area because um, I have played I actually I am play collegiately soccer here at the University of Portland, and that is a huge. Um, that's very important for our program. Is we're all about community. Um, we're all about um, setting an example for everyone because we are huge in this uh, Portland community, and um, you know that has taught us a lot um, for setting great examples for the kids or for the families that come and. You know that's always on us. That's a, that responsibility is always on us. So I think um, you know we have a, a lot of responsibility, and I think that experience will help me in a job such as this, just because you have to have a lot of responsibility and you know set those examples. And to me, that's that's something I value a lot is community and you know setting examples. And uh, yeah, so I think that would help in my experience in this job. So. Okay, good. Uh, what experience, if any, have you had with newsletters or journalistic writing? Um, I have not had a lot, but um, I know coming to University of Portland, I've had had to step up in that um, in that area for my uh, the University of Portland soccer team. I've had to uh, write some blogs uh, for our team and keeping it with the team, and um, that's kind of I've kind of had a you know that's kind of right. Be began with that kind of in that area, but um, I think I've picked it up pretty quickly, and um, I'm capable of picking up things pretty quickly and learning really fast. So and I've actually enjoyed doing blogs and such things like that. So yeah, you'll be dealing with that yeah. a lot of you. Mm -hmm. So what experience have you had then with web design, web design design and content? Um, again, I I haven't had a lot of experience in that area, but um, I do. I am very, um, that's kind of one of my strengths, I think, is the creativity part of me. And I have been involved in making films and video on my own. And I, again, like I've been, um, I've had to learn that on my own. And I'm very capable of picking up things very fast. So, um, you know, I think I'm very uh, capable of creating and um, of building things, like such as things like that. So, so do you use Facebook, um, Twitter, and Tumblr? Or any other social media outlets? Uh, absolutely. Um, not just for myself, but also for again for my uh, team. We have um, we have a Facebook, we have a Twitter. Um, I've been in charge of uh, updating those, um, keeping those updated, uh, keeping our fans, the community up to date, and um, with the Facebook and also with the Twitter. So um, I have had experience in that area with that. So considering that we use these three media outlets a lot um, to connect to our fans and such. So if we were to hire you today and um, we asked you to promote our biggest rivalry game of the season immediately, how would you use these outlets and other online advertising strategies to talk up the game and pump up our fans? Mm -hmm. um, I would definitely obviously use the Facebook Twitter early. Um, I would use I would kind of uh, update the fans of the history, of the rivalry, um, um, you know, the several times that uh, the rivalry have met, what has gone on during that, 
during that time and kind of what's at stake for the community. Um, I would, you know, yeah, I try to keep the community updated um, very consistently as much as possible leading up to the, uh, the event as much as possible. So I understand that you've done some soccer camps, mm -hmm. looking at your resume. Um, and how has these, these camps given you some leadership skills that make you a good candidate? Um, I have. I've worked several uh, soccer camps, but that and my kind of experience with soccer and, um, like I said, my, I don't know if you, uh, well, I have it in my uh, letter, uh, application letter, but um, I've not only played soccer, but I've actually played at a very high caliber. And I play, you know, at a D1 uh, college that's very high caliber, and that's really taught me um, about, you know, hard work, commitment, and leadership. I've had to have always, I've always been the leadership role in my teams. I've had to step up and take that leadership role, and with the camps, and um, you know, that's taught me a lot. And um, you really have to, like in the camps, you really have to have that leadership role to really kind of get the organizations going and or your team going, you know, you have to have that. So that's kind of been embedded in me my whole life. So I think that's something um, that would be really helpful and kind of an asset to this position and, and you know, really show commitment and leadership to that. So. Good. So as a football team, um, the candidate that we hire, you know, obviously needs to know some basic right. information about mm -hmm. football. And since scoring is one of the, the most fundamental aspects of the game. Can you just name off the different types of scoring plays? Yes, I can. Um, uh, touchdown, there's touchdown. Okay. Oh, and yeah, oh, okay. points awarded. Oh. Sorry about that, yeah. Is that, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah and, okay. and points awarded for each okay. score play. Uh, so there's touchdowns, which is a six points, and then you can get a field goal for an extra point. So that would be one point, so be seven. Okay. Or you can do a two-point conversion to the, ex to the six points of your score. You can do a two-point conversion for two more points. Um, there's also safeties, if you get if the quarterbacks mm -hmm. sacked in the touchdown, it's two, two point safeties, and yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. And then field goal, and then another, there's another field goal for three points. Right, right. right. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, so that's all the questions I have for you. Awesome. Do you have any questions or concerns for me? Um, just uh, kind of what, I guess what kind of, um, what, uh, uh, how about your, um, uh, oh my gosh, I can't word this right. Um, flexibility with uh, with uh, working wise, but for scheduling and what's your flexibility? Right. Yeah, we're yeah. pretty open. Um, as long as we get the necessary updates on Twitter and the Facebook right. and stuff like that, we're very flexible with our scheduling, right. so we can accommodate all needs. Because right. I know you're busy with your stuff. Right. right. So. Awesome. Well, good. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, thank you for coming thank in. You. We have your. Your contact information will let you know within the week. Great. So Great. thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank yep. you.